think oh, it's the police. They found me. Um, <laughs> you better keep that in. <laughs> to just bring it back to uni, since obviously we're making this video for uni, like, so in terms of your classrooms, like, what was the diversity in your classes as an English and drama student? You said you were the spokesperson, ended up being the spokesperson, yeah. right? Yeah, they not. And like lecturers. Lectures, like, okay. oh, the lecturers. There's so much to do. So my classes have not at all been very diverse at all. But student wise, the student body have been mostly white. So there were Eurocentric studies with a very white class. And even when we weren't talking about Eurocentric things, because, you know, I think Queen Mary's is progressive uni um, enough a bit. Um, and they try to talk about other races and other cultures and they're like racism is bad um this is racist but then they don't really explain how it affects the individual or what the impact is it what the affect and effect is um and so it's odd because then conversation goes nowhere because it's just one person after the other saying that racism exists so i end up for like 40 minutes lecturing the rest of the class on why their assumptions are inherently racist and how it would be better to uh, to address situations in different ways and what would be the best way to approach something. Um, not to say that I know the best way to approach everything, but that I felt that oftentimes that if if I didn't talk, we would be in a classroom where people were just acknowledging racism but did nothing to combat it or did nothing to address it like, effectively. Because the classes weren't diverse, um, we ended up going into really sort of particular subjects. For example, we watched Paris is Burning without a single like identifying black gay man in the room and then everyone was talking as if they could even like I acknowledge that I could not speak on behalf of a community that is not in the room and I think what tends to happen a lot in race studies at the university or at least at Queen Mary is even though there seems to be some good intention and even though everyone seems to care and they want to well I think sometimes they're a bit performative and want to present that they care and they want to present that they're, they're knowledgeable and trying to change something that in the end they end up just doing nothing and speaking on behalf of other people which cancels out other people's voices and isn't effective. It's a really weird situation because like Queen Mary prides itself on being super diverse and inclusive which like it like for Russell Group University I think it's we've got a 69% BAME um, student population right but then like similarly yeah in my course I did Spanish um, and film studies like at least for black people like there were not a lot of us there was maybe like four of us in film and then two of us in spanish like so it's just a weird dynamic where you still end up being the only black voice in the room and having to speak up for everyone which isn't really like like you're saying like i can't speak for all black people you can't speak for all black people or mixed race people like it's just a weird situation but people expect things from you um